Okay, I'm back and I've uh, gotten a few of my parts in order. Um, I've already cleaned out the tank and I've uh, inspected it very carefully. There is a seam in there that needs to be looked at and it's pretty easy. This is a pretty big port so you can uh, get in there with a flashlight and look, look, look around really good and make sure that the tank is in good shape. I was pretty impressed with this little unit. It's less than $200 and it's got a nice heavy uh, cast iron tank. They do warranty the tank for five years, not the other little peripherals, but anyways, uh, so I've got the, the, the gasket came with new bolts and these bolts just, uh, slip in underneath, uh, uh, the gasket. They're on a slotted hole and it's a carriage type bolt there. And I have my new anode, uh, installed and I've got the element all cleaned up. I scotch brighted it and got all the scale off of it. But uh, the only thing that gave me any trouble at all was that little thread. It threads in there, and it is a metric thread. And the old one was rusted and corroded, and I actually had to pick it out with a carbide-tipped uh, scribe. Uh, pick the old uh, unit out, and I put a little non-seize on it, and the new one threaded right in. But that's what the new anode rod looks like. Uh, it's worth it to pull yours apart to check that. And uh, all this does... This just slips right in here and kind of hooks in. And that guy is going to drop in there just like that. And we're going to get this all bolted up. And then I'm going to put my thermal paste here. Uh, what I bought for that was a little tiny tube. This is the same stuff they use on computers. It's just a little one shot of this uh, silicon based. Um, thermal paste and that's to give us heat transfer between the tank and the back of this controller this little flat spot right here a rectangular flat spot um, that's what activates the high limit switch on this control to uh, keep you from getting a runaway boiler but uh, and then I've changed the uh, cord out this is a three conductor 14 gauge. The one that was in there was a three conductor 16 gauge. And uh, yeah, I remember you saw the damage from earlier. But uh, I went ahead and ran this cord through there and I'm gonna be putting a new plug on it. The plug on the old one was in uh, very bad shape. Uh, it was actually, well, I've got it here. Let's, let's, uh, it's in the toss away pile already. <laughs> But you can see it's pretty burned up. And I, it's just, it's not that the conductor's not capable of handling the current. The conductors aren't capable of handling the heat that's generated uh, in a resistive load. A res resistive loads are tough. And uh, anything that's got a heating element uh, it needs to be looked at and oversize the wire. So I'm hoping this... Uh, this wiring job is going to uh, make this problem go away and have this water heater last at least five years before I have any more problems with it. Okay, uh, let me get uh, set up for the next step and we'll go from there.